Hey guys, so I just got back from the grocery store. I just want to take you through an example of what I get from week to week. Thomas Bagel Thins. I like the Bagel Thins because they're thin and it feels light on my stomach. So I usually just add some um, third of the less fat cream cheese onto one side of the bagel and then I usually add like an egg or some jelly to the other half. So I kind of mix it up each day. Instead of using instant oatmeal, I usually just get these quick oats and I'll add in some flavoring. Uh, a really good thing to use for this is to add protein powder and mix that in. But this time I actually got some dried apple slices because my favorite instant oatmeal is the apple cinnamon. So I'll just be able to make it myself now. For every workout, um, I try to have something with carbs and just a little bit of sugar so that I can have energy throughout my workout. So this week I decided to get these Rice Krispie treats because they honestly pump me up so much for my workout. Next on the list was white cheddar rice cakes. I love rice cakes. What I do is I put some sun butter, so a substitute for peanut butter, and then I usually do dice up a banana and put it on top. Today when I was in Walmart, I found this awesome bread. Uh, it's Nature's Own, and I usually get Nature's Own butter bread, which the macros are really good on that. Today, I found this. It has no sugar in it. It's whole grain, whole wheat, so it should be pretty good. I'm looking forward to it. I got this huge bag of tilapia. Um, these are all individually wrapped, so it's easy for me if I'm just in a hurry. Great source of protein. I love fish. Um, I have a hard time eating a lot of chicken, only because chicken breast kind of gets boring, especially plain, and I try to stay away from marinades as much as I can, so fish is always great to throw in my diet. My other protein source is I do get boneless chicken breast, only because you can make a lot of different things with chicken. This bag will last me a long time, 10 pounds. Sometimes I struggle with uh, getting my protein in only because I don't like protein powders, so I try to get all my protein through food sources. Uh, another protein source is my ground turkey burger, and I do the 99-1. So the less fat you can get, the better, and usually with less fat, it has more protein. Sometimes I'll make actual patties, other times I will just crumb, do like crumbles, and that's easy to put in a wrap, or just have it plain, or put in pasta, or anything like that. You can make all kinds of different things with a turkey burger. Egg whites, because there's zero grams of fat, so you can have a lot of these, get your protein source in that way. Um, I get the Egg Beaters brand. And this lasts me a while, even though I do eat them a lot. One of my other favorite snacks is the Greek yogurts. I get the light and fit, you need calorie Greek yogurts. I usually get lime, peach, vanilla, and then I just got a plain um, Greek yogurt as a substitute for sour cream. So if I'm making something that has sour cream in it, I usually do that and you can't even tell the difference. This week I picked up cottage cheese and I love cottage cheese, especially as a kid. I used to eat this all the time, but I kind of veered away from it when I started meal prepping only because dairy isn't the best for you. Another thing that I use for protein is this yellow lentil pasta. I love to get um, a case of deli meat uh, because usually I'll put it in a wrap, throw some shredded lettuce iceberg lettuce on top of it, add some veggies, put a little bit of uh, sriracha on it, and call it a meal. Another really awesome source of protein is the tuna fish. I usually get these in the packet. Instead of using mayonnaise to mix it with, I usually just add hot sauce because I love hot sauce. Sweet potato is a really good carb source. I get really sick of jasmine white rice, and it's just something different to switch it up. Moving on for a treat, I got these. Um, they're three cheese tortellini, and I know this does not sound very healthy, but actually, 
This has a pretty much similar carbs to the rice. When I'm feeling like I have a sweet tooth, then um, I always whip up some sugar-free jello. I usually get one bang a week. Sometimes if I'm just feeling like I need a little bit extra pump for my workout, I'll use that. As far as for vegetables go, I do a lot of spinach, and this week I grabbed some green beans and peas. For fruit, as I mentioned before, I like putting um, sliced bananas on my rice cakes, so I'll do that. I usually just get three because if, they, if I get more, they usually go to waste only because I don't eat them every day. And then I have been in so much love with these cuties, so I did grab a bag of those. This was like the special, so I got the Leprechaun Chocolate Lucky Charms. I try to pay attention to the sugar, especially with cereal. This has 10 grams, which is on the higher side, but for a treat, I think it's fine. I got my Boom Chicka Pop, because this is a treat that I like to have like once a week when I watch movies. The last thing that I got was these, because sometimes I just feel like I need a cookie. For the most part, as you can see, I eat pretty healthy and um, I try to stay on the lower side of fats. That being said, I'm not eating a lot of calories, but I need to make sure that the food that I am eating is going to fuel me for what I'm doing in that day. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was a little bit of what foods I eat on a weekly basis. Comment in the comments below if you liked that and what you'd like to see more of or any questions that you may have.